Hi, I'm Tracy Sofra and I work with career-minded professional women. And for too long, women have been told they're not good with numbers, they can't manage money, and one day someone's gonna finally rescue them. Well, I'm here to dispel that myth once and for all. I thought today I might share or summarize for you my top seven tips for making more with your money. And this is a tough one because there are so many things to remember, but if I could really get to the core, to the guts of maybe, I mean, there was more, you know, I kind of cut it down to seven and tried to um, consolidate, if you like, some some points that were similar to each other. So I came up with this seven and I, I'm hoping this is really going to help you. I'm going to dive straight into those. The very first tip is obviously the one that um, will change everything. So don't spend more than you earn. It's a simple one, right? And if you are spending more than you're earning, chances are you're living off debt. And this type of debt, as I talk about in my program, when I talk about debt and leverage, is the really ugly type. Living off debt is a fast way of getting nowhere. And there is no way out of this other than to stop right now. So don't spend more than you earn. It's a simple philosophy, but these days it seems to be a lot harder. And it's harder because of the world that we're living in. And it's harder because of the devices that are in our hands and the opportunities that present and the constant bombardment of emails saying, Trace, buy, buy, you know, I've got the sale on, it's two for one special and all these things that go on. And it's so easy, right? How easy is it? You've got your phone, the email comes through, you go to the link and away we go. But I'm asking you to reconsider. I'm asking you to stop before you act and ask yourself, why do I want to make that purchase? That goes back to the early stuff that we spoke about, our money value. So don't spend more than you earn. Tip number two, go back to rule number one. Don't spend more than you earn. That's how important this is. It takes up the first two tips of my seven tips. Critically important to not spend more than you earn because what you're kind of really doing, and I talk about this when I work with the women that I, that I, that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis, we kind of try and dig deep and understand why we do this and if, if we are doing this. And there's usually some underlying reasons. There's, it's a lot deeper than what we see on the surface. And we do this for a number of reasons, but it's really, really important to understand that we shouldn't spend more than we earn. And if we are, it's certainly coming from a different place. Tip number three is pay yourself first. I spoke about this, remember? Pay yourself first. It was what we talked about yesterday in terms of creating strategies around your bank accounts to make it happen and to make it work for you. Because it's not what you make, it's what you keep, and then ultimately what you do with that money that counts. But you can't keep money and do something with it if you're not paying yourself first. So I tried to go back right to the very basics of making sure you're allocating 10 to 30% from the main pot, from the main kitty of money, siphoned into a separate bank account to do something else with for your future self. Yeah, because we are, if we do not do that step and if we're spending more than we earn, we're sacrificing our future for instant gratification now. And there's a lot of instant gratification going on in this day and age, by the time that we're talking about. Tip number four, time is money. Literally, you know how they say time is money? Literally time is money. How, in terms of my tips, the sooner you start, the better off you're gonna be in the long term. And a lot of people get this wrong. You know why? Because they think that the little amounts of money, we call it lunch money, right? The small amounts of money, most people think that it's really not gonna make a difference. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's the little amounts of money over a long period of time that has the greatest impact at the end. The end result is way more powerful if you start early and just put little bits of money away versus starting 10 years later thinking, I'm too young, you know, I wanna have a bit of fun, which is great, we all do and we all did, but not sacrificing your future self. You can have both, I promise you, you can. If you go back to the cash flow um, videos that I, that I went through, it's quite easy to do that 
It's just a matter of being disciplined and having a look at your cash flow patterns, knowing your own cash flow and then setting it up and mastering it. So pay yourself first is a critical first step in order to keep what you make because we work, we all work and we all make money. And then once you've kept that money by putting it into a separate bank account, then deciding what you're going to do with that money. And that's the next lot of videos coming up. Tip number five is change your money behavior. None of this works unless we work on thyself. Remember I spoke about talking and, and spoke about working on thyself. So this is going back to your money values. We need to change our behavior around money. Unless we do that, everything else is futile really. Nothing else is going to work unless we do that first. So you need to go back and you need to unveil your money values, where you came from, what it felt like, what were the conversations. And you need to align that with your adult values today to be able to move forward. Without that, you will repeat the same patterns over and over again. And no amount of money will fix it. You can throw more money at the problem, but it won't fix it because you've got to start from within first. That's where the whole thing starts. Tip number six, build your money trees. Remember the cash flow patterns of the poor, the middle class and the, the wealthy? The wealthy build their money trees first. The middle class put their money into money pits, yeah? At things that they think are assets that don't put money back in their pocket actually drains the money out of their pocket. So focus on when you pay yourself first, Focus on putting that money that you've siphoned away, the one you've kept for future investing and invest that into money trees because those money trees are one day, if not already, putting money back into the little kitty. And then you can use that money that the money trees have created for you to buy some toys, right? How good is that? How much better is that option than just spending your money on money pits, the toys and stuff that we love to have in life, and all they do is drain our cash flow and, and, and at the expense of our future self. And finally, you know I'm the eternal optimist, never ever give up. Because if you do give up, it, I mean, there's nothing else to do, is there? Giving up means that we've thrown it all in and we're not going to get anywhere and we feel defeated. There's no confidence, there's no momentum, there's no empowerment, no inspiration. And now, now, I urge you, now is the time now is the most critical time than ever before to look at these things. Not only because of the situation we're all in, but also from the fact that you've got the time. You're either working from home or you're having to be at the front line or you're having to run your, you run your business or you're having to go into work, whatever your personal situation may be. I think we're all in a space of self-reflection. I think we're all in a space of disbelief and trying to understand where we're all at. But I urge you to take this time, I urge you to take this time for yourself, for your future self and reflect and ask these tough questions. Go back to the drawing board and review what's not working. Go back and look at your money values. Go back, back and ask those questions. Go back and do your cash flow analysis. Do all of these things that I'm talking about because it will ultimately change your life and we are ultimately all going to come out of this because we always do. Remember, we're designed to survive and when we do, let's be better positioned. Let's be prepared. Let's make sure that we've evolved, developed and changed throughout this whole process and that we don't feel defeated and that we take action because with action comes self-power i guess it doesn't feel like you're being dictated to it feels like you're taking the 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 life by the reins in your own hands and forging forward yourself so use this time to ask these questions and to work through your own stuff that will ultimately give you great rewards when we're all out of this mess I'm Tracy Sofra. I work with career-minded professional women. Please like my page so we can chat every single day and make sure you're clicking on to the early release of my program. There is a free ebook attached to that as well. Please click the link. You'll get the free ebook and you'll get first access to my program when it's released. Have a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.